Uh, today I want to demonstrate how uh, we can use a uh, DP scan to find parallel lines uh, or directions in images for further processing. Uh, DP scan is density based spatial clustering of application with noise and it finds uh, clusters in structures and can also isolate uh, points which are weak connected to these clusters and I use this in FreeCAD. Okay, let's start. I have an image file. It's the old known uh, example for cubes and a half line detector I use for this day some default values and from this picture I can uh, calculate the length of the found edges. This is the presentation of the lengths uh, I have demonstrated this in, in my last video and also we can uh, calculate the directions. The directions mean that we have uh, a lot of lines which go with an angel 60 to 80. This is this direction to left up and this direction is zero. Uh, zero, these are these edges and also 180, some which go opposite down. And then we have uh, this area. These are angels between 110 and 130. And these are the direction they go here. Okay. So I put it to my other screen. And now I can um, run post-processing for the half lines. This is uh, a script which uses the TP scan algorithm and I start with uh, two, two parameters 50 and 3. There is some experiments uh, before I have found that these are good values and now we have the processing and the result is uh, here a painting of all found edges and the other thing is the diagram so what can we see we have found some lines which are with this arrow epsilon 50 near parallel these are the, the yellow lines and these are all these values here this is the overage of the direction and we have on the other side here some uh, edges with direction 130 the green lines and we have some of the lines which go down nearly uh, uh, angel 0 to 20 and here these two lie on the other side. Maybe the, this can become continuous if I use a, a little trick. Okay, this is a very fine build and we see that the lines are not exactly parallel, so we can now make the algorithm more precise. We want to split all this data in smaller groups because we see here some peaks. We have here one, two, three, four main peaks, main directions. And the next step, what I do is I reduce 25, uh, 50 to 25 and recalculate it. So 
now we have difference. Now uh, the program has uh, calculated this, th these lines are parallel, but not these four. For the red ones, the direction is still in this uh, interval the same. Okay, what we see here is we have for uh, uh, these lines here, one is green, uh, these two are red, are parallel, these uh, pink are parallel, and this is a single line. And you see all these colors here in this area. So we go further down and say now we use 15. 15 and recalculate it again. And you see the structure become still finer. And we can go down to 5. And now we have only here some parallel lines. The red ones and these green ones are still the same. And here are some the same, but all other uh, are different because this is a perspective picture of our model. Okay. Here we see uh, the histogram of the directions. We see all these peaks. Here we see uh, directions which are clustered and here the count. These are the average values of the clusters and this line shows uh, which directions we have lost in this algorithm because there are two, the number of, of uh, edges with these directions is too low. Okay, I put it back and I have now all the edges here in this group. Every line which I have detected is here collected. I can hide it and can use these lines again for for the um, design. Okay, we delete the old directories and now we go to the next example. The next example is um, nine hundred and twenty. So I bring back this is uh, the half line image, and this is. No, this is the, the image and here we see the half line image. Okay, and we start the calculation for this case too. So, first we start with uh, 1 and 4. Very fine model and you see there are many groups of different directions and this is the picture we have some parallel lines and with this precision most of the lines are not parallel here we see uh, the circles the circles are approximated by short lines and all go to different directions. Well, then we go to 10. And now we have some more parallel lines. And I go now up. Once more some lines which are nearly parallel and at least we do it this way. And now we can also see that there are some parallel lines in the circles. Okay. 
Uh, next, what we do is uh, we look at the a realist a more real realistic example. This is uh, nine hundred. Okay, this is the already well-known image file. And we calculate again, we start in this case with 50 and 1. And now it will take a little bit longer because there are many ages to calculate. And voila, we have the model, we have 50, and so we have one, two, three, and four directions. Maybe the green and red is the same. And this is the image. And we see uh, the pink line goes to the right up. This one goes to the left up and the red ones and the green ones are both perpendicular to up and down. So now we see here is a wide range of directions and we can refine it. We go down to 10. And now we have a lot of different groups and we see more details. Uh, let's first see the picture here. We can distinguish between some directions here, blue and green lines, light green, light blue, which go in, in this direction and this is um, this area here. Then we see this is the direction to the right side. And also we will go down, we will use here two. And now we see we have here a very good refinement. And when I go down with this value, I also can separate all these peaks of the histogram of the direction image. And we see also the approximation of, of some circular structures. And we see here the noise. The white lines are lines which are not grouped to other ones. Okay, and I delete it. And the next one, the last one is uh, the same building from the other side. This is here. And in this case, uh, we have to change the half line filter because there are only a very, a very small number of lines detected. This is not a problem. I will demonstrate this for this case. Okay, here the, the first picture and, and now we see in, in this case the, a lot of Ages cannot be grouped together. It's all in this area. But when I start and make the epsilon value larger, it 
then I can recollect the values and now you see the red lines go up, the green to the left and here I'm some difference to the right, the blue and the yellow one and I will also here use uh, the last value as in the other examples and now we have a clear structure in case of a autographic uh, projection it's clear all these lines are real parallel and here we have a mes measure how different is this picture from a parallel projection so okay one value in the middle and you see this is still all parallel, the green ones, and here we have the red ones. Okay, this is the demonstration of today.